this video, let's learn about the internal iliac artery. The internal iliac artery is the smaller of the two terminal branches of the common iliac artery. So this is the abdominal iota. It divides into the common iliac arteries and the common iliac artery divides into the internal and the external iliac arteries. So the internal iliac artery is the smallest of the two terminal branches of the common iliac artery. This is the common iliac artery and this is the thick branch that is the external iliac artery and this artery is the internal iliac. Internal iliac artery divides into the anterior and the posterior divisions near the greater sciatic foramen. This is the anterior division and this is the posterior. Now let's talk about the branches of the anterior division of the internal iliac artery. The anterior branches are the superior vesicle artery, obturator artery, inferior vesicle artery, middle rectal artery, internal pudendal artery, inferior gluteal artery, uterine artery and the vaginal artery. So these are the branches of the anterior division of the internal iliac artery and the branches of the posterior division are the iliolumbar artery, lateral sacral arteries and the superior gluteal artery. Now let's talk about each and every arteries of these branches. The anterior division of the internal iliac artery. The first artery is the superior vesicle artery. So this is the superior vesicle artery. It is the persistent proximal part of the umbilical artery in the fetus and it runs forward and medially and it supplies the upper part of the urinary bladder. So you can see it in this diagram. This is the superior vesicle artery. It supplies the upper part of the urinary bladder. As the name indicates the vesicle, vesicle means the bladder. It is crossed by the ductus deferens and sometimes it gives branch to it. And, and distally it continues with the medial umbilical ligament and it represents the obliterated part of the umbilical artery. And now coming to the second artery that is the obturator artery. It is the second branch of the anterior division. So this is the obturator artery and it goes into the obturator canal. It passes along the lateral wall of the pelvis, along the obturator nerve. So the obturator nerve is in relation with the obturator artery and it leaves through the obturator canal. It gives an important pubic branch which anastomoses with the corresponding branch of the inferior epigastric artery. So this is the obturator artery. It anastomoses with the inferior epigastric artery. And this anastomosis is also called as the accessory obturator artery and, and it replaces the obturator artery. And the third branch that is the inferior vesicle artery. So remember the, in, the superior vesicle and the inferior vesicle are the branches of the, of, the anterior bran, of the anterior division of the internal iliac artery. In this diagram, this is the inferior vesicle artery. It is replaced with the vaginal artery in the females. It turns forward at the base of the urinary bladder and it supplies the base of the bladder, prostate and seminal vesicles in male. It also gives rise to the artery of vas deferens. So it supplies base of the urinary bladder, prostate, seminal vesicle and it gives an artery to the vas deferens. For a video on the histology of prostate gland, you can click on the i button. And the fourth artery is the middle rectal artery. This is the middle rectal artery. It is a small branch which passes medially to the rectum and commonly it arises with the inferior vesicle artery. And the fifth branch is the internal pudendal artery. This is the internal pudendal artery. It is the main artery of the perineum. It leaves the pelvis through the greater sciatic foramen and it passes over the posterior surface of the ischial spine 
and it enters the perineum through the lesser sciatic foramen. So it supplies the perineum, it is the main principal artery of the perineum. For a video on the ischial rectal fossa, you can click on the I button. And this is the inferior gluteal artery. It is the largest branch of the anterior division of the internal iliac artery. And it passes posterior inferiorly between the ventral rami of S1 and S2 nerves to enter the gluteal region through the greater sciatic foramen. And the seventh branch is the uterine artery. This is the uterine artery. It runs medially along the floor of the pelvis along with the root of the broad ligament and it crosses the ureter superiorly to reach the lateral fornix of the vagina. And then it ascends upwards along the lateral margin of the uterus and then it runs along the uterine tube to terminate by anastomosing with the ovarian artery. So this uterine artery anastomoses with the ovarian artery. It crosses the ureter superiorly. Remember this point. And this uterine artery gives off a vaginal branch. And the last artery, and the last artery of the anterior division is the vaginal artery. The vaginal artery corresponds to the inferior vesicle artery of the male. It supplies the vagina. So it is only present in females and in males it is the inferior vesicle artery. It supplies the vagina and to the base of the bladder. This is all about the anterior division. And remember all the branches of the anterior division of the internal iliac artery are the visceral branches, inferior gluteal artery and the obturator artery. These are the parietal branches. And now coming to the posterior division. The first artery is the iliolumbar artery. This is the iliolumbar artery. It ascends upwards across the sacroiliac joint and behind to the external iliac vessels and it reaches behind to the psoas major where it divides into two branches. You can see it here, the lumbar and the iliac branches. And the second artery of the posterior division is the lateral sacral artery. These lateral sacral arteries are two in number, that is the upper and the lower. That means lateral sacral arteries on each side and they run downwards and medially over the sacral nerves and their branches enter the sacral canal through the anterior sacral foramina to supply its contents. So these are the lateral sacral arteries. The terminations emerge on the dorsal aspect of the sacrum through the dorsal sacral foramina and they supply the muscles and skin over the dorsum of the sacrum. And the last branch of the posterior division is the superior gluteal artery. This is the superior gluteal artery. It first passes backwards and in between the lumbosacral trunk and ventral ramus of the S1. Then it leaves the pelvis through the greater sciatic foramen along with the superior gluteal vessels. So this is all about the posterior branches. A point to remember, all the branches of the posterior division of the internal iliac artery are the parietal branches. All the branches of the anterior division of the internal iliac artery are the visceral branches except the obturator artery and the inferior gluteal artery. And all the divisions of the posterior branch of the internal iliac artery are the parietal branches. Remember, P means parietal. So guys, this is all about the internal iliac artery. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel. And do look at some of my recent videos and playlists.